Hey, this is Kieran Robertson from the Jeff Tate Band. Um, I'm going to talk about my rig and uh, Famous, more importantly, because I've been kind enough to do this video, so thank you for that. Um, this is my custom model, it's my signature. It's a Famous Panthera 2 Supreme, I believe it's called. It's a maple top and mahogany neck. Um, I'm pretty punk rock when it comes to the way I sort of like guitars and you know, to me, they're, they're workhorses, they're tools, so unfortunately this one has a neck break um, and, you know, I got it repaired, stick some tape on it and it still plays as good as it did when before the neck break. Um, I've got a couple more of these guitars coming, thanks to Hans and Nicholas, shout out to Hans and Nicholas. Um, but yeah, man, it plays great. <laughs> It's just a good solid workhorse of a guitar, you know, um, this guitar has been on the road with me for like, god, five years now and I've never had any issues with it, uh, anything that's, you know, we need replaced, we get replaced and it's just solid man, it's just a solid rock and roll, rock and roll guitar. <laughs> it's great as well, it's got the coil taps. Perfect man, it's my favourite, my favourite guitar and I'm going to get a couple more of these. I also have on the road with me this uh, beautiful Framus as well. This is a Wolf Hoffman signature model. I saw this guitar and I'm a big Michael Schenker fan so for a big flying V um, this is exactly what I wanted and in case you haven't guessed already I love white guitars. Um, this one's great, I've got the Mind Crime emblem on it. Um, I replaced the, the Floyd system on it with another Floyd. Fishman pickups active which you know sounds super heavy and um, it's a big thick neck in this guitar which i like also some rock and roll you know road worn road wornness is that a word road wornness but uh, yeah i love this guitar it's got the dive bombs so this is my b guitar out, out on the road on this too as well thank you buddy i'll switch back and then talk about the weirdest guitar rig that everybody always thinks is going to be terrible and then sounds amazing out front so like i said i'm pretty punk rock when it comes to guitar setup um i actually don't have an amp i use a, a laptop which i guess isn't punk punk rock but um yeah i'll show you over here hell yeah i'm a i'm pretty different when it comes to my my live touring rig and um, lots of people they they see it on stage and they see there's a laptop and they think oh it's going to be terrible but it is consistent and the best sounding rig i've played for through ever. I, uh, I don't use amps. What I use is, if you look at it basically as my interface, is a two channel amp. So I've got my clean and I've got my dirty. So on my laptop I run Logic and with Logic I run a program called THU by Slate which is basically like guitar rig. Um, you get a bunch of different amps and we've spent, you know, years trying to configure it live and mix it with the EQs and the compression out front and it just sounds great man it cleans up like a like a real amp um I'll show you which I don't feel like you get from a lot of you know, multi-effects units that they actually clean up. Um, so it feels like an amp, it plays great. I've been using this for years now and I, I, I wouldn't go back to an amp. We have the happiest road crew in the world because they don't have to load in fucking like 12 Marshall cabs, you know? Um, do my rig as well, I run Line 6 Wireless, which is freaking out a bit right now for some reason. Uh, it's a Focusrite 2i2, every bedroom producer will know what that is. Um, and then the cables I run, which I love, but I'll let you into a secret, Jeff hates them because they're so neon green. Um, they're a company called Sorry Cables. They've been really great. They built me this, all these cables, and I love neon green, in case you can't tell. I, I fall over things a lot on stage, so the neon green helps me to not do that. So, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a mix between a digital rig and an analog rig because I run it through effects pedals, like actual pedals as well. So down here in my pedal board, it's a mix between an analog rig and a digital rig. 
I like doing the tap dance, you know, I, I like I like jumping around and it's great for recording as well. Um, we, we're doing a new album with Jeff and, you know, been using the Framuses on pretty much every single song, you know, definitely every song for me, but my other guitar player as well has been stealing it for a couple of songs, he's been using it. Um, we, 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 love, we love the guitars, we love this rig. So yeah, back to the pedal board, you have um, a TC Electronics Flashback, which I actually got at Gitcon, which was uh, an event Framus ran, which was like YouTubers and all this equipment companies came and we made tons of videos, it was great, there's tons of videos on YouTube of it, but um, can't beat a flashback man. <laughs> so much and then I have a big delay as well which is for when I have bigger delay sounds the settings probably aren't right right now so it goes on for longer if I want a bit of that my boost by blacks which is actually it's a really shitty boost it's by a company I don't actually know who blacks are to be honest I got that pedal from Amazon for like twenty dollars or something um, when I was I was running out of I couldn't find my boost and I needed it for something so I got that and it's great it holds the system. You could go and have a bite to eat, come back and that would still be going. Standard tuna and I get a slash slash waz. Which is sick so same with an A B switch I'm a cleaning my dirty. And that just goes all out to a DI, which goes right out to the desk. Um, I really just like keeping it simple. I like being able to tap dance and hit pedals. You know, I could automate all my stuff to MIDI with effects, and but I like the tap dance, guys. I like hitting the pedals. So, yeah, that's that's a basic rundown of my rig. I use uh, Ernie Ball Power Slinky Strings. Ernie Ball hooked me up with my picks as well, who are class, um, and I throw out at least ten thousand every show. So thank you, Framus, for coming and having a look at my rig.